Hello guys, Nigel here again from Nigel's Modeling Bench and I've got yet another review for you. This time it's on the uh, model we all love, it's the Airfix 124 scale F6 F5N Hellcat. And this is another range of conversion slash decal sets for that kit. And they're from, as you can see, Aerocraft Models here, aerocraftmodels.com. And what Alistair's done here is come up with um, seven different schemes that you can have. And you've got three are just decals and four of them are conversions. The conversions involve using a night fighter pod on the wing and or uh, guns, extended guns on the wings. Um, they've got longer barrels. I'll show you those in a minute. And or the early windows that go behind the, the cockpit glazing. So as I say, go over to aircraftmodels.com, have a look at the 124th scale shop and you'll see all the sets there. Um, and you can also go on and download the instructions. If, if you go onto aircraft models across the top of the page, it's in the middle it says download instructions and you can look on there. And what I'm going to do as we go through this, I will flash up the instructions flash. Um, sorry, slash flash. I will flash up the instructions slash the decal scheme. So it shows you decal placement. Now it's worth remembering with all of these sets, you are going to be using the kits decals alongside. So as we all know, the Hellcat comes with the American schemes. We've got the French scheme here and we've got the Royal Navy scheme here. So you're going to be using, you, you obviously won't be using the French, but you're going to be using the American um, stars and bars. And you may have to use some of these flashes. I'm not sure. It does look like actually with the English sets, you won't be using with the Royal Navy sets, you won't be using these, but obviously you'll know as you, as you go through and obviously you'll be using the, the stencil data from the Airfix kit. Okay, so what Alistair's done is done a generic set of instructions on fitting the resin parts to the kit um, rather than have a, a specific set of instructions for each individual conversion. So what I'm going to do, I'll go through the resin parts first and what I'll do is I'll just show you them and then on the side of the page I'll put up a, the, a, an image of the instructions that you're going to see. Go to the website, have a look and you can see it all there in more detail. So we'll start by looking at this pod. This is for the night fighter conversion. So we've got three parts to the pod. You've got the part here that actually fits on the wing and that's a solid piece of resin. Ignore the bubble there. That's not supposed to be there. It's um, as you all know from parts you bought from me, it's, it's unavoidable sometimes. Um, and then we've got this ring and he's got a mark in there. It's saying on there to, to look for mark A, but I can't see a mark on here. But um, if, if you turn it, it kind of does line up better with that mark on the inboard side. So what we're going to do is cut that off, clean it up, sand it flat, glue that on there. And then on the other side, we're just going to glue this front part of the pod on. And what we can see on the instructions is it's telling you to fill this seam around here and smooth it. And this seam here between the, the pod and the actual um, ring itself is actually a panel line. So you perhaps put some Mr. Servicer and wipe it off with some alcohol to get the uh, get the effect. In that case, what I would do is be filling that in with some um, super glue first. If you do find you've got a bubble in your parts. So that's the pod. And then secondly, on, on the next page, it shows you the pod fitted and we've got these guns and you don't really need instructions to tell you how to fit these. It just shows you them in their finished position. So you've got the, the gun there mounted on the um, on the, the resin carrier block, which is very nice. And that's actually just going to glue onto the leading edge of your wing. Um, you may be tempted to replace the barrel with something because they, they're a bit bit flexible. Um, this one you can see has got bent in the packaging. Um, so, I mean, heat that up in warm water, pull it back, hold it there, perhaps put something under there to hold it in place and it will resume its shape. But they're basically the, the resin guns. So as we go through, um, you will see if when you look at the website, you will see which of the sets involve each one of these conversions I'm going to show you um, and I'll tell you which ones are which as we go through. The third part, uh, the, the third part of the resin is these clear parts and these are the windows that enable you to build an early version. So these are actually going to go in your fuselage behind the main cockpit. Now I've got the fuselage side here from my FAA kit, which you can see I haven't touched for ages. Um, and what it's saying in instructions is mark a line 18 millimeters back, which I've done, and then cut a vertical line. And then you're basically going to 
join this in like so. Okay, so you're going to cut a line parallel to the sill there, cut a vertical line, and then super glue it in. A little bit missed the surface or whatever, blend it all in. And as you can see in the instructions, what it's telling you to do is make sure you keep an eye on this raised edge here and this raised edge here because you've got them. If you look, you can see them. You've got a raised edge there and you've got a raised edge there. So you've got plenty there to match up. What he's actually obviously done is used a, a, a section of the fuselage to make to make this window. So that's going to go in there and then you'll have your clear glazing then looking at the back of the um, back of your back of the first bulkhead so that's very nice if you are doing this as you know in the kit the there is a great big hole in the back of the bulkhead where the headrest goes you really want to be filling that in because it's not very accurate having a, a plastic molded hole in there um, so there we go so that's the that's the clear parts there and they are beautifully cast they are cast in clear resin um, you will need to be a little bit careful as you can see it's fairly brittle I'm just breaking off the the overspill there on the on the mold but um yeah they are they will be quite brittle but they're going to be more resistant to scratching than your your normal um, plastic parts perhaps give them a dip give them a polish or whatever or just you know put some um some future on them after they're in but um yeah very very nice uh, this is one part of the conversion i am interested in um the guns and the actual wing pod i won't be using purely because I just don't like the look of the extended guns and I don't like the look of the wing pod. Um, I always think that the uh, with the trumpeter kit, I think the night fighter version was always the least popular. I, don't, I personally don't like the pod on the wing, so I won't be using those or any of the conversions that uses it. So there we go. Cut that out. Get it in nice and flush. Oh, and the other thing I meant to say is, as it says in the instructions, you've also got the, the recess there for the bulkheads to go in. So make sure you get those cut out exactly the same. So moving along, um, what we'll do now, we'll start looking at the, the decals and what I'll do is I'll use, as I said, we've got seven sets of decals um, and three sets are just decals and four sets are conversion. And you can't buy any of this separately. You have to buy the conversion for now. I guess it's going to change. And I think if you look on the website, you'll see these are all limited production at the moment. Um, so start off with number 13 early. So this one's going to use... So you're going to get in this one, you're going to get this small sheet of decals. And as I say, you're going to use that alongside the, the Airfix decals. So with this one, you're going to get the pod, which is these three parts here. And you're going to get your two clear windows. OK, so that's that's early 13 US Navy. And that set there is 14 pounds all in. OK, so if you want to build your model as early 13, there you go. Next one is KD-127. Now this is a Royal Navy, um, Royal Navy version. As you can see, we've got some lovely red roundels and almost looks like a decal set for a Spitfire, doesn't it? Um, so you've got that one there. And with this one, again, you're going to use the pod. OK, and this with this one, you're going to use the guns. So this these parts and these decals will enable you to make an accurate model of KD-127 of the US Navy. Sorry, US Navy, Royal Navy, what am I talking about? It says it on there, duh. Um, next one that uses any conversion parts is Mint C3, which is actually, of all of them, is my, my one of my favourites. I've got two favourites in here. Mint C3 um, is just using the clear. So if you wanted to build an early F6, um, you can. So Min C3, very, very famous aircraft. Look it up in your books. Um, lots and lots of information about it. Um, that one there, really, really nice conversion. So just use the clear parts. And that one there comes at £11. And I'm sorry, I know I forgot to say, the price of the, the one I just showed you, the Royal Navy one, this one here, with the pods and the guns, is £16. The next one's going to be Black Death. Um, Black Death here is US Marine Corps, um, Major RB Porter, and you can see it's got a bottle on there and probably people are thinking it's uh, Jack Daniels, it's not. It's Shenley Black Label, which was also known as Black Death. It's a black velvet whiskey apparently, I, should, I must get some and try it. Um, so with this one, you're going to get the pod again, and you're going to get the guns. 
So that one there, all in with the um, decals, guns and the pod is £14. So that's that's as far as we go with your conversion sets. And then we've got the just the decal sets on their own. We've got Death and Destruction. And this is just a very small decal sheet. You can see we've got some numbers here, the actual um, skull and crossbones and the tail numbers. And this one is uh, five pounds. So that one there you would use alongside your airfix instructions or decals, and that is five pounds. So that's that. And then next one we've got is JZ seven nine six, or JZ seven nine six because it's a uh, US um, Royal Navy, US Navy on the brain. And this one's showing this little, I don't know, Cherokee looking fellow. I don't know. <laughs> um, and it says Pataruzu here. And we've got Royal Navy JZ-796 and we've got the roundels here. These differ from the roundels in the Airfix kit. As you can see, they've got a, a white boundary on them, whereas these don't. And the tail flashes have different dimensions to them. These are larger. So whether these are inaccurate or just different, I don't know. But um, that's that one. And then, oh, that one, sorry, is £8. And then finally, we've got this one here, which is Royal Navy JZ-931. Um, this one again is using the different style roundels and you, again you've got totally different roundels for um, for the fuselage there. So you've got the C3 and the M markings and again tail flashes which are completely different from the Airfix kit. And that one on its own is £8. So there we go guys, that is a very short but to the point um, review of the Aerocraft aftermarket decal and conversion sets. I'm sure there's going to be more to come. Go look at his website. He does do the metal undercarriage, which isn't that horrible soft white metal stuff. They are actually proper cast brass, hard legs that won't bend. Um, and he's also doing all the different tire designs as well for the different variants. So it's going to give you a real good chance to do some research and, and look at your references and find out if you're going to do one of these conversions, what sort of tires it would have had and, and bits and pieces like that. So um, thanks for watching. Sorry it's been pretty short, but there's not really a hell of a lot to talk about and show you. It's just a, a few bits of resin, a um, couple of bits of clear and, and some guns, and then some uh, sort of add-on decal sheets. And as it is with decal sheets and masks, always difficult to review because it's sort of, I could just go like that. There it is. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so uh, there you go. So thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you all very soon. As I say, get over to aircraft.com and get yourself some of these sets. Bye for now.